Hi. Parody and satire have been really stressing over our emergency preparedness plans. Poor darlings, they can barely eat, they are so fraught. So I thought this would be a good time to catch us all up on the personal disaster that may be looming. As my grandmother used to say, we may not know where it is or when it's coming, but there is a bus out there with your name on it, and you better be ready. Of course, she was talking about clean underwear, as grandmothers are wont to do. But let's take the sentiment a step further. Let's say, just for fun, that um, you're out and about one day when unexpectedly you get blindsided by that unpredictable bus of yours. What is going to happen to the kiddos? It's wise at any age to have a will, but it's especially important to make provisions for your animal friends and their rehoming if that becomes necessary. You don't want fraught people dumping fraught animals at a shelter. That just compounds the tragedy, and you can prevent that. Who of your family and friends do the animals like best? Be brutally honest, it's probably not the one who knits them little hats. Mia culpa. And if you have a dog, well, it would be wonderful if they could all go together because that dog probably considers all the family animals as part of her pack. But maybe your turtle has a soft spot for the gardener. Well, cater to that. Or what about that cat that doesn't really like anybody at all? Be sure and leave an ample amount of cash for each animal, for their food, medical care, enrichment, mega miscellaneous. It's only fair. Now, if you live alone, it's particularly important to carry a card right here that says Pets Home Alone. You can get these and Carry them in your wallet if there's room for your name, the animal's name, and, most important, the emergency contact caregiver. Be sure that person has a key. Okay, speaking of keys, we have items like this. Again, it says, Pet Home Alone, and it says, in the wallet is a card with emergency contact. So you can carry that. And also in your windows and in your car, um, have these alert stickers. Whoa. Now, the way this works, get them, they peel right off, and then this will be a, a pane of glass. And we just attach it, is that right, to the glass. Yes. And there, this is what it looks like in your window. Okay, so alert, pets inside, it tells what kind of pets and how many, so that if there is a disaster while you're away, the rescuers don't have to guess. Let's see. Oh my, are you a beloved companion or just something that wandered off of the alley? Hmm? Sometimes it's not immediately evident. All right, now, when it comes to service animals, well, that's a horse of a different color. You may come across stickers like these. Now this one said, service dog lives here, 
dog may not be vested. And when you think about it, anybody who works that hard certainly deserves time off. Now, here's another one. This is for the car. It says, service dog on board. Do not separate from handler. This is extremely important. Comply. Oh. Well, yeah, we mustn't forget the elephant in the living room. No, wouldn't want to leave that behind. No, sirree. Well, we are going to cover logistics on elephant transport in a future video. Until then, bye. Bye-bye.